So I'm ready to start bringing in some data into my application over here. And uh, if I look at my uh, example of, that I made beforehand, I see that the first dynamic piece of, of data that I need to bring in is something for the user picture. So looking back at the data that I'm actually going to get back, it's a little disappointing, right? Because I have essentially two links to a picture over here. I have picture, which is just the picture to the thing that they're going to be sharing. And then I have an icon, which is a GIF, but this thing is just an icon to the type of uh, link that they're sharing or the yeah, the, it's either a link or a photo or a status update, that kind of thing. So, well, I'm not out of luck though, because I could derive the location of their uh, thumbnail picture through this information I have here. Okay, going back to the Facebook uh, graph documentation, it tells me something about how I could pull up the current profile picture for uh, users. And here's what I see. It says that if I'm using uh, graph.facebook.com forward slash the user's name forward slash picture, I could get that picture uh, of their uh, uh, of their profile picture rather. Um, but when I look at the data that I have from the from name, these things have spaces in there, and um, I just can't. I don't know. It's like see, like here any. Uh, this has spaces and it's just not going to fly being put in the browser that way. So instead, to be safe, I experimented and I realized that you can use the ID in place of the name and the ID never has any spaces and it's always unique and you're going to get it. So check out what I'm saying. I'm going to copy this URL. So it's going to be graph.facebook.com forward slash the user's name forward slash picture. And here it is in a new tab. So let me go to the search results and just copy this user's ID and replace it in here. Let's see. Uh, oops, in the new tab. And when I place it in there and I hit return, voila, I actually get the image. So armed with this, I know that I could use something like that to, to actually get it. So let me, let me show you exactly what I want to format. In my uh, jQuery code, I want to ultimately get something like this. Well, that's the URL, but let me get the actual HTML for it. So I want something like that, but I want to put in this unique ID. Okay, uh, this is going to be dynamic, and, and actually so is the alt tag, because the alt tag is going to be their name. But uh, ultimately, that is what I'm going for. So let's see how to get there. 